as um, this political uh, engine moves towards November and we have a president that is looking at a third and a fourth term and lining up more Supreme Court justices to appoint and uh, pretty much is looking to to be a dictator, as you mentioned, a fascist. You supported Bernie Sanders during the primaries. Um, where are you now? Yeah. Um, a lot of your brethren in hip hop are withholding a vote and some are even running for president like Kanye. <laughs> Yeah, I, I supported Bernie Sanders because of his ideals. I firmly believe in the United States of America. I think people that run 300 million people, I don't think it's a one-person job, especially for one over 65 years old. I believe in a voluntary uh, retirement after 65. But if you have somebody that retires after 65, that means your leadership body got to definitely come between that 40 and 60 zone. We had that last time around, and you see how they aged him. So how the hell somebody 78 years old going to come in their first year? A, they got they can't give a F. And so I was wise enough to know that, okay, you got Bernie Sanders, but you got to talk about the topics and, 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 and ideals. And not everything going to flow your way at all, if anything. But I do, do know that some of the issues that he was talking about, nobody else was talking about, child care, health care, and all that climate control. Well, those are some of the things that's going to be at the table with anybody. You just can't have somebody in the office, even if they, somebody comes along as a conspiracy theory and says, well, the president of the United, presidency of the United States is a benign person. Not necessarily so. You can go with the flow of evil and white supremacy and do mm-hmm. a lot of work. If you're trying to go against us, you're going to have, if you're trying to go to, uh, against uh, that, you're going to have a lot of opposition just to get and do the right thing. So um, common sense of the matter, that that was my support of that, uh, what he was talking about, but really more importantly, the Green Party. I believe that nothing could come out of a two-party existence. And I've always said that. So somebody knew that this was kind of woke three days ago trying to, you know, uh, uh, attack what I thought about that particular time. They listened too much with their eyes. And I think that's a problem that's going on right now in this age that we live, we listen too much with our eyes. It's like the authorities could play three card money with your mind. But they uh, are. when it comes down to us thinking that you could jump in that position and just lead 300 million people a- a- across the world. I mean, yeah, you're going to fool somebody who wasn't born at a time when sense was common. But you are voting and you are advocating people vote in November. You damn skippy. It's the okay. side that hates you versus the side. Look, it's the side that hates you versus the side that you on. If you do the math, the math is real simple. You know, it's a one minus two equals minus one. You still got to do the math on what it is. You have fascism in your face with a gun right at your head with a finger on the trigger versus somebody who might trigger you out. Do the math on the time. And this is the time to not play around. So it's not the time to pontificate and try to get all in the philosophical ball of wax. Maybe if you've been doing it the last 20 years, but the average person, you have to think for them. You have to think for your surroundings. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Well, yeah, we're at the point, you have to think for your surroundings, not even think for just for yourself. The average person is going to look to you and say, okay, all right, cool. You, you Mr. Brainiac, you Mr. Do-It-All, you Mr. Superstar. How do I eat? So this is why um, I would say when it comes down to administration, government, um, the world at hand, you you have to study it smarter than the sports pages. If you know running back stats and and final four statistics of NBA players, you damn should know who, you know, who's running each and every country in this damn world. You should. You should. But yet we don't. And yet we don't. I'm going to tell you. I've been, a, I've been 116 countries, man. I'm just saying, every place I know that I'm going into, I better know something about where I'm going. I was in Indonesia. Indonesia law said, listen, do your songs. And I was there like last summer. Do your songs. Don't talk out of side of your songs. Now, in your heart, you're talking to Indonesian people about yin and yang or whatever. But you also have to pay attention to the law that you go to anywhere in this world. And they were like, yeah, if you go outside and talk to these people outside your songs, you're going to get dealt with by us. And we know damn sure that the United States government ain't going to come save you. So 
So wherever you go in this world, you got to have your eyes open, your head open, and be woke. And in this country, this is a, a chance to at least be woke, not to have the, the, the worst inevitable thing happen. And I knew when I was voting for President Obama eight years ago and then um, 12 years ago, I knew that I wasn't voting for Jesus. I knew I wasn't voting for a Messiah. But what I was doing was buying time. And when you buy time, you could come up with a bunch of different things that strengthen your position in the world and your foundation in the world. Did I think where we did it, did that as, as, as people of color and black folk? It's not for me to say. I feel that we did not, but that was the climate of where we was and who we was at the particular time. Chuck D is here. Mr. Chuck D, you can follow him on the Twitters. 